I have not even walked in my door yet. There is Edward, damn cat. Everybody's gone trick-or-treating. My neighbor's out of town, and off across the property, you hear a bunch of dogs barking. He asked me to check on his property <sighs> while we're uh, while he's gone out of town this weekend. He called me and asked me. So we're gonna unload this crap. We're gonna grab us a pistol. We're gonna walk over there and take a look. He may be back early. Um, he may, they may not have gone, but we're gonna walk over there and take a look. Figured I'd take y'all along anyway. Somebody's gotta live to tell the story. Now. We're back. <sighs> we're just gonna walk over here and look and make sure everything's okay. Um, I figured I would grab my 12 gauge. Because people tend to respect a 12 gauge a lot more, especially out in the woods. Um, when people are in places where they're not supposed to be. We're just going to walk over here and look and check and make sure everything's okay. Uh, this is uh, the Patokas. That's their name. Really nice family. They've been living here for 30 years. Uh, it's kind of funny. The husband uh, and I work together at a mine. Uh, the husband is a, uh, an employee and I'm a contractor. Great guy. Couldn't ask for a better neighbor. Uh, he's the only neighbor I have. And his two sons are, I don't know if it's called a minor league or a, a uh, amateur league, but they are uh, MMA fighters. Uh, the son is a, one son is a plumber and the other son is an electrician. And they both work at the mine that I service. And, and they too are nice, real nice guys, but we're just gonna walk over here and eyeball and uh, check everything, make sure it's all right. Dogs are still out there. They're great people. See, the dog's barking. See where Vinny is. Okay, guys, well, I guess they're still out of town. The dogs are barking. They're on automatic uh, water and feeders, so I don't have to do any of that. But their trucks and cars are still there. No windows are busted. And, doors are all closed so I guess everything's okay so that's good so now I'm gonna unpack the work truck there get on my crap loaded I'm gonna sit down for a few minutes more to come guys one of the funny things I just got uh, like I said just got home checked on my neighbor's stuff and uh, was a uh, uh, putting up some shells because I keep keep a couple of weapons all over the place uh, and it says to my messy husband uh, I cleaned your nasty building out keep it clean and it says love you so I'm curious to see I haven't looked inside it yet because y'all knew what it looked like before huh. you can actually see the floor I'll be damned how about that so Yeah, this looks good. Oh, I'll be damned. And that's the phone. All right, guys, more to come. Okay, guys, now we're back. The nice thing was I left uh, Knoxville at, I don't know, 12.30, something like that. Finished up with my test. Uh, it was a little earlier than I thought, so I was able to get it finished up. Um, they're supposed to have a little bit north of Knoxville they're supposed to have between four and ten inches of snow. Is that not crazy? That's something. But I get home and uh, uh, my wife's gone trick-or-treating with the kids. Um, so we missed each other by a little bit and I'm going to unload the truck and do some paperwork. Um, and this is what we're back to. They look kind of, those clouds look kind of rough. And I wanted to show you with the lights on I'll be damned she did clean it up pretty good um, now in my defense she usually is the one that messes it up yeah not really I just said that um, just just said that threw that out there so no no she's not the one but yeah, it looks really good um, I gotta get some stuff situated but this looks great um, here's that 820 
Oh my god, she left it at a freaking angle. There we go. Fixed it. Super 820. <sighs> you have to excuse me if I'm at a loss for words, but I'm kind of tired of that. Um, but this looks great. She did a really good job, and I'm very appreciative. Thanks, sweetie. Um, this place looks good. Ah, look at all this. Basil's dried out nicely. Nice and crunchy. Almost, almost completely dry. We'll finish this guy up. I have two freaking whole days off. We're going to do some riding tomorrow. We're going to tear something up somewhere. Might call Patrick. I think I will. We're back. And uh, tomorrow we're going to put the uh, pull cord on that thing. May do a video of it. Uh, probably will. We're going to get some stuff situated. Um, I'm going to try to do a little bit of riding. Um, because I know the next few weeks are going to be even busier than these couple of weeks. Uh, um, I've been home one week this month. I ain't knocking it. I ain't complaining. I, I paid off my new leg. There's my new leg from the surgery. So, hey, amen, hallelujah. But I did want to say going over and checking on my neighbor's property. Um, when you're out, the world's a little different now. Be aware, be safe. Um, guys, you know the safe things to do. Uh, get your wives to go along with it. Um, get them to do the safe things as well. Um, I don't know. That was just something that was on my mind since I had to run over there and check on them or check on their stuff. And they do the same for us, too. Um, I, he's a good enough neighbor. He's got keys to every building I have. Um, and knows where all my spare keys are to the car. So it's rare when you can find that, uh, too. But I did want to tell you guys, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, tomorrow, oh, look at those. May get some bad weather. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to announce the winner of... Uh, Name Frank's mower, one in the front. And maybe do a little bit of riding. I uh, gotta catch up, like I said, gotta go do some paperwork now. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the shares as well. Y'all be safe. Uh, Y'all gonna make some mayhem.